Ooh, gossip? Yeah. <laughs> I am so happy. Well, this deed is gonna be important to me. I'm so excited I'm gonna so scream it out. <laughs> it's just like in my own natural kingdom. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think this will work. Oh, you were way too much, Stitchy. Now, if you don't do this deed, remember what I said? You're gonna kiss Jackson goodbye. Fine, as long as you don't hurt Jackson. Ugh, that's all I hear. Jackson this, Jackson that, Jackson this, Jackson that. Over here, over there, whatever I do, I don't care. Now, just listen to me, Stitchy. Okay, I want you to deal with this faker. She has a pink hat, long black luscious hair, and she always thinks she's a big popularity. Uh-huh. Well, tonight at her house, I want you to send Jackson over there. And do what? What? Oh no. What's Cleo thinking about doing to Jade? Okay, I get it. I'll tell him. Good. That is my Frankie. Okay. You're dismissed. I gotta get out of here. Hey, Jackie Laura, what took you so long? Oh, sorry. Lunch line was full. Oh, hey. Where's Roxy? Oh, don't worry. She's gonna be alright. I hope so. <laughs> hey, Roxy. Hey. Ugh. Piss off, bitches. I'm not gonna even deal with you girls anymore. Actually, we just want to congratulate you. What? Yeah, we just want to congratulate you for dating the biggest monster on campus. Oh, um, thanks. Um, yeah, but you just seem like a little out of there, Roxy. Your outfit looks too punkish, you know? Too punk, not pretty, you know. And also, you just need to change your person out. Okay, I get what you are talking about. I don't need any advice from you. Forget you guys. I'm not gonna even deal with it. What are those bimbos talking about? It's not like I'm gonna change everything just for a guy to like me, right? But you know, I don't think Claude will like me. I mean, and maybe if I change my ways, I don't understand who, what I am. Mm -hmm. Hey. Huh? Oh. Hey, Claude. <laughs> Wait here, I'm gonna open my locker. Oh, why would he even ask me to talk to lockers? Hey, kid. Yeah? Um, you want to head to the creepateria right now? Sure, let's go. Hey, um. What is that? On your arm. Huh? Uh, oh, um, this? I it's nothing. What? It's nothing, Claude. Wait, Claude! Um, Roxy, where did you get that scar? Uh, oh, this scar? It's n nothing. Roxy, just tell me the truth. I'm not gonna get mad. Well, if I do tell you the truth, then I don't know if you might believe me. How would I not believe you? Mm. Roxy, just answer the damn question. Where did you get that scar? C Claude, if I do tell you, you won't believe me. How the hell am I not gonna believe you? Because... It's a different story. <sighs> Ooh! Ow, ow, wait, Claude, 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 I'm slipping, I'm slipping, I'm slipping, I'm slipping, you're dragging me, you're dragging me, you're dragging me, you're dragging me, ow, 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 ow! <gasps> oh, wait, Claude, I can't get up, please! Hey, slow down, slow down! Okay, okay, I think I sent a lot of trouble going on there. What do we do? Looks like Claude's really angry. 
then I sense we have to go stop him. Okay, let's go. Uh, 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 okay. Uh. Huh? Mm -hmm. Wee! We're going on an adventure! <laughs> hey, Sasha, how come you can run fast in those stiletto pumps and I can't even run in these open toe boots? Where did they go? I don't know. They're much faster than, than us. It's not our fault. Lord and Roxy went to a head start. No. Oh, hey, Joey, Joey. Um, do you know where they are? They're turning. They're gonna turn that corner there. Good job, Joel. Let's go, guys. Wait, uh, Claude, Claude, can you slow down for a little bit? My, my hand, my, my, my wrist is getting pale. It's getting numb. Can you please slow it down? Wait, Claude, Claude, please. Uh, uh, um, Claude? I'm gonna ask you one more time. Where the hell did you get that scar? Claude, if I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Okay, then. Tell me, where'd you get it, then? You gave it to me last Friday night. I don't believe. That is the freaking truth, Claude. I'm not lying. Seems like a lie to me. And if people lie to me, I get really pissed off. But I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. Claude! Claude! Uh, uh. Stop right there, buster! <laughs> I always wanted to say that. <laughs> Is that what you're gonna do? You're gonna try and stop me from attacking her? Claude, back away from Roxy. <laughs> you're trying to piss me off, Sasha. Well, most importantly, yeah, I am. What? Oh, uh, 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 oh, 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 this is gonna be good. Are you annoying, little? Claude, sit and calm down. Uh, back away from Roxy now. Roxy, come on. Uh, uh, Roxy, you all right? Yeah. I'm a little scared. Guys, you guys head back. What are you going to do? I'm going to have a little ch ch chat with Claude. Well, you heard, Sasha. Let's go, guys. <laughs> what were you thinking? What? Were you trying to kill Roxy? Because she had this scar. I wanted to know who did it so I can beat the shit out of them. Uh, Claude! Sit! Stay! Now listen. Yeah, yeah. To tell you the truth, Roxy wasn't lying to you. She wasn't lying to your stupid face. She was telling the truth. She, you were the one who gave her that scar. Not anyone. You were the one. Do you believe me, Claude? Do you? Do you really believe me? No. I don't believe you. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> you don't believe anyone when they're telling the truth. I don't even believe who you are now. Did I really give Roxy those scars? Hey, Spice! Huh? Hey, Coconut. Hey, Sunshine. So, um, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Just makeup work. Oh, okay. Say, we're, we're heading home. Do you want us to walk you home? Um, I'd rather just wait for Phoebe. Phoebe's not here. Where is she? She went home, alone. Why? She needed to do some things. And now she wants us to take you home with, for her. Are you sure? Yeah, we're sure. Now oh, come on, let's go. Um, okay. Roxy, you seem pretty down. What's wrong? It's nothing. All right. 
just like when Claude somehow attacked you today at school. Um, I don't want to talk about it. Miss Carey, I sense a lot of questions coming from that head of yours. Uh oh, and listen to what Miss Telepathic can say. It's just that, well, I'm really scared to talk to Claude. Why? You have the heart for him. You two are meant to be. If you found another girl, then, 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 then your life will be over. Maybe, but I'm just scared to talk to him. If any girl talks to him, I'm scared that, that he might hurt them, you know, because he's, like, dangerous. But you have to take things very slowly. Yeah, but I have another problem. I'm really getting sick and tired of all those girls talking about me in school. So, ignore them. Why? They're just going to keep bothering me about that stupid nonsense. Well, what are you going to do about it? I don't know. I was thinking of changing everything of me. You cannot do that. If you change, who's going to be the old Roxy? If you become the new Roxy, no one will even know who the old Roxy is. Trust me. If you stay true to yourself, everyone will love you. But if you changed, it'll be, everything will be different. And you won't feel the exact same thing like last time. Like you, where you're standing. Do you understand? I do, Joel. But I'm just sick and tired of those girls talking about me. Well, if you're in trouble, we'll help you. Right, Joel? I highly doubt it, because you always get off on the wrong hands. Oh, be quiet. Come on, we'll walk you home. Sure. Is this all spam messages? Is that all the messages that I got since I hacked into this chat room? Uh...